everyone, welcome to D-Lab Electronics. Got a little surprise for you. You know all those 6K6 amps that I've been building in police radios? You guys loved them. I showed you how to build them. The ones I had flew off the shelf. So I thought, okay, it's time to up the game a little bit. And that's what I've done. This is the Super 6K6 amp. Same circuitry as the standard HA50 model, but this one is built in a Lafayette HA520 cabinet, which allowed more room for the addition of tremolo. And this guy's got it. So instead of me building up a few and trying to sell them, I'm gonna give you guys the information right off the bat. In this video, we're gonna go through the schematic. I'm gonna show you the chassis layout. We'll do a bench check utilizing a dummy head, and then you get to hear the thing live. It's going to be a great video. Stay tuned. Okay, let's review the schematic for the new D-Lab 6K6 Super Police Amplifier. On the screen, I have the stock circuit from the 6K6 amp that you guys saw me build a few months ago, utilizing the Lafayette HA 50 police radio. In this design, I reused their power transformer. I upped the power supply section. The preamp section is that you would see in a fender design. Output section is close to what they used in the Champ, except I use a 6K6 and the high voltage only runs at 240 volts. So I thought, okay, you guys love this, so what can I do to make it better? And that was to build the Super 6K6 Police Amp, which is now up on the screen. If you compare this schematic to the stock 6K6 schematic, you'll see that 90% of it is the same. I ended up using a different police radio, another Lafayette, but in this case, it's the model HA520. It's a little bit bigger unit, and it actually had four knobs across the front rather than three, which allowed me to add the tremolo pots. So my intensity and speed pots are on the new chassis. Other than that, from here over, it is identical to the initial 6K6 amp that I designed. So now I'll cut to the red lines here. In these boxes are the components that were added to give this guy a nice tremolo circuit. And the tremolo circuit was actually adopted from the Princeton AA1164 schematic. You'll see I used a 6AV6 for the oscillator, whereas the Princeton used a 12AX7, but they're actually only using half of that 12AX7. The 6AV6 has the same specs as half of a 12AX7, and this is like a $1 tube, okay? So pretty much you tie into your power supply. The output comes up through this intensity pot. I have a 1.5K resistor that couples to the grid of the 6K6 output tube. So there it is, guys. You can take your existing 6K6 amps and add the circuitry. May be a little bit difficult to fit in the knobs, but it's very doable. All right, I'm gonna cut to the chassis, show you guys the layout, and then we're gonna put it, uh, put a signal through it with a scope, and then I actually have a live demo to show you. So here we go. All right, let's take a look at the construction details for the new Super 6K6 police radio amplifier built in a Lafayette HA520 cabinet. You can see this cabinet is a little bit larger than the HA50s, okay? The 50s are a little more available. These are kind of hard to find, but they give you more real estate to build in. So in this case, the phone jack is actually my input jack. Controls are volume, tone, which is the same as the stock 6K6 amp. But now we've added depth and speed for the tremolo. And the little tremolo is activated by this nifty push button. So you push it once on, push it again off, which means you can set your tremolo where you want it, and you can kill it, but when you come back, it stays at those settings. 
I did that rather than putting a switch on one of these pots. Because if you do that, then you lose your setting every time you turn it off. A little nicety. Yeah, I had to add a hole, but I put in a very expensive Elko switch to handle the job. All right, let's turn him around and see what's going on backside. Same deal as the 6K6. I remove a lot of the clutter on the chassis. This is where the tuning capacitor used to sit. I land an aluminum plate using the PT31 single-ended transformer that you can buy from AES. Stock power transformer is still used. This one puts out a little bit more high voltage, so you probably get about three and a half watts out of this guy. Tube line up. Of course, we got our 6K6, but now I've added a 6AV6 for that tremolo function. You saw that on the schematic. Pretty easy to wire up. Talking about wiring, how about bottom side? There it is. Got a lot of wide open real estate here guys. Real easily built. New filter cap up here. I used the existing rectifier diodes that they had on the original design. So my power supply section is over here. We swing over here, there is the bottom of the 6K6, which is recessed, and that is an old porcelain amphenol socket. Very cool. Here's my 12AX7, and if you follow that red coax, that's going over to the input jack. I had to use coax because obviously we got some length here, I did not want to pick up noise. There is my tremolo circuit, the little 6AV6, and there's the bottom of that fancy push button selector. All right, it's so bench check phase. I've got my oscilloscope set up, leader audio generator going to the input of the little police amp. We're going to use a dummy head to test the amp with. Now, as you know, D-Lab made up about six of these. They're all gone except for serial number one. The project was too much for me to take on, so I turned it over to my friend in Florida He's got a YouTube channel, Ron C. I'll post the link. He is taking over the manufacturing of the dummy heads. This is serial number one. He sent it up to me for evaluation. So I'm going to hook it up to the Lafayette. We'll see how it performs. Remember, this is a dummy load in the box with a output to monitor on the oscilloscope. So connection is pretty straightforward. The only thing that I saw initially on this design that Ron and I have already talked about is improving the quality of the resistance selecting switch. This one feels pretty light. I looked inside, it is about a 2 amp switch, whereas on the original dummy head design, I had a 10 amp switch. So, you know, for longevity, Obviously, you want the bigger switch. So Ron's making some changes, and soon you'll see his dummy heads up for sale. All right, let's hook it up to the amp and give it a shot. Okay, here we go, power applied check. I've got Ron's dummy head set up at eight ohms. Output is going to the scope. Obviously, the input is going to the speaker out of the little Lafayette police radio amp. So I'm gonna bring up my volume. I'm uh, putting in about a kilohertz right now off the audio generator. So there is a sine wave. There's my tone control. Let's turn on the tremolo. See him jumping up and down. There's my speed adjust. And here's my depth. So she really gets the grid of that 6K6 excited. So as I said before, you'd set your tremolo, you're playing, right? You kill it goes back to straight output, you turn him on, resumes where it was. Kind of a nice little feature of the new Super 6K 6 amp.
Tony's playing the newest uh, 6K6 amp police radio amp, but this one's got tremolo. Have some fun. Tears. I've loaded your guns. You know how to build the Super 6K6 amp. So get out there and find yourself a Lafayette HA520. Make it happen. But D-Lab is going to even make this easier for everybody. The more I thought about this project and how popular this little 6K6 amp line has been, I've decided to go ahead and launch a kit line. It is under development. Okay, I'll let you guys know when it's ready, but I'm going to supply a custom eyelet board where you can either configure it as a stock 6K6 or there be a option area on the board that you can populate and have that tremolo function. It's on the way. Please don't email me and say I got to have it now because I don't have it now. But I promise you guys in the near future, D-Lab is going to offer its first kit amp. 